Welcome to Crash Shop, Brad here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a vinyl record storage container. I've got too many of them and the place I'm storing them is about to collapse. So let's get started before it does. All right, so this is the lumber I'm gonna be using for the project. I've got a 5 4 by 4 by 8 and a 1 by 4 by 6. I'm using the 5 4 for the legs, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut four pieces to the same size. All right, I've got the legs all cut out now. Now I'm gonna be doing a rectangular frame, so I'm gonna cut the two shorter pieces of the rectangle out of my one by four. So I've got those two pieces cut, and now I'm gonna be doing the longer sections of the rectangle. Now I've got all of that cut. All right, I'm just setting it up really quick to make sure it's all looking all right before I move forward. And it does. So I'm just gonna rip down my leftover board and use that as the bottom rails of the piece. And you'll see these are kinda gonna be sitting in here like this. And my, my piece is upside down right now, but these rails are what the records are actually going to be resting on. They're going to be taking the weight. Alright, so moving on to the frame, I'm just going to go ahead and get this all connected. I'm going to be using dowels and a little bit of screws. And wood glue, of course. All right, I'm gonna be putting two screws into each side of the longer sections. So I'm just making some marks before I drill. All right, and I'm just taking these over to the drill press. All right, and now I'm moving on to a larger diameter drill bit. This is the same diameter as my dowels, and I'm just going down about halfway into these boards. You can see I've got a flag on my drill bit so I don't go down too far. I'm gonna be hiding my screws with the dowels. And you can see how those holes are lined up. But before I put any screws in, I'm just going to go ahead and get this frame clamped up and throw a little bit of glue on there. I'm not going very heavy with the glue, just a little bit to help keep it in place before I put the screws in. All right, just making sure it's all square and it's looking pretty good. All right, now that it's glued up, I'm gonna go ahead and follow through my smaller holes into the other boards. I wanna make sure I don't split them while I put the screws in. All right, so I just throw all the screws in and now I am going to be filling those larger diameter holes with the dowels. This way we won't have any visible hardware and it'll be a little bit of a nicer piece. Once the glue is cured, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the dowels. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and sand them and flush them up with the piece. All right, I'm taking this to a round over bit on my router table. I'm just rounding over the outside of the frame. And 
as well as the inside of the frame. And I'm only doing this on the top. That way there aren't any sharp edges when you reach in to get a record. And you can see that's a little bit rough, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that to the orbit sander really quick and clean it up. And that's looking pretty good right now. Now it's time to attach the legs. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the same method I used to connect the frame. I'm gonna be using two screws into each leg and I'm gonna be hiding the screws with dowels again. So now I'm just drilling my screw holes. And there's my flag on my dowel drill bit. So now I'm putting the pulls in for the dowels, exactly like I did on the frame. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and sand these legs up really quick before I attach them. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of glue on these legs. And I'm just gonna clamp them all on. And once the glue has dried, I'll go ahead and do the screws, just like I did on the frame. All right, now that the legs are in place, I'm able to measure for the length of the lower rails. So I'm gonna be able to cut these down to size now. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and sand them up a little bit with the random orbit sander. And now this glue has somewhat cured, I'm gonna go ahead and follow through on the holes and then put the screws in. All right, it's looking good, I'm gonna flip it up. Looking nice and sturdy. All right, I'm gonna move on to the dowels. And I'm just using some of the cutoffs from my previous dowels on the frame. These are nice and snug, so I'm tapping them in a little bit with the mallet. So now I'm figuring out where I'm gonna attach the rails and how high they're gonna be. The higher they are, the higher the records are gonna be sticking out. And I want the records to stick out just a little bit, so I'm putting my rails at about 11 inches or so. Yeah. 
So I'm making some marks for the dowels. And I realize I cannot fit a drill or a screwdriver in to actually do that, to actually put screws in. So I have to compromise and I decide I am just going to recess the rails into the legs. So I've got my joint drawn out. Now I'm going to go ahead and start cutting. A little bit thinner than my drawing so that I don't cut too much by mistake. And similar to lap joints or box joints, I'm just going to make a few cuts and then start popping these out with the chisel. All right, now I'm just gonna clean up the bottom with the chisel again. All right, starting to cut the other side. And a good pull saw makes quick work of this. All right, I'm just carefully filing down to my line. I stopped a little bit short so I wouldn't go too far. Now for a test fit, it's nice and snug which is good, but it fits in really well. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and throw some wood glue into these holes. And now I'm just going to secure the rails. And I'm just throwing one clamp on each side. All right, just going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, while I let the rails glue up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the dowels that I just put into the legs. And this is starting to take its final form now. I'm gonna go ahead and just sand it up. I want to get inside and get all that glue that squeezed out around those joints. And it's all sanded up and that is the final structure. Now to move on to finishing work. I'm going to go ahead and throw a coat of stain on this. And I'm just using Early American. And I really like the way the early American came out. It reminds me of a faded walnut and it, it looks like it's got a little bit of age to it, which I think fits really well with old vinyl records. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of shellac on there to seal the wood. Thank you so much for watching. This is a very fun piece to build. I was able to use both power tools and hand tools for this project. And now I've got a cool place to store my records. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.